Welcome back. I am driving my Jag Tiger 8.8 .8, Premium Tier 8 German Tank Destroyer. My brother, Rocket 12. Once again, platooned up. And he's driving his KV 5. Russian Tier 8 Premium Heavy Tank that you can no longer buy. So, he is very happy whenever he gets to drive that around. And it's an encounter map on Prokhorovka. The encounter map with the broken cap. The cap's way faster than it should. Or at least that's what just about everybody says. According to Wargaming, it's working as intended. Right. So we're top tier. But there's a lot of tier 8s. And heading this way are a couple of tier, six, tier 6s. Who will not last long against anything they come, come across. Oh look! A fellow Canadian. Right on. Uh, I'm going to be up front with you right right now to let you all know. Spoiler alert. We don't win this. But it was a damn good loss. Uh, pretty sure everybody who survived to the last few minutes of the game would agree that it was a fight worth being in. The first ten guys dead probably wouldn't agree. Although I'm sure some of them stayed by to watch. Because somebody always does either to complain or just because why not in the younger in the in the lower tiers a lot of times because they don't know they can quit uh, quit out of the battle regardless we have a fairly strong force going up the hill here we got six tanks okay three of them are tier six but three of them are tier eight so it all bounces up uh, I am always the slowest one it seems I, I almost never pick a fast tank <laughs> when I'm playing it never works that way. Maybe it's because I drive a lot of Germans. That's pro that's probably it. Except for the E50. The medium tanks are quick, but that's it. Regardless, I will continue chugging along. Ah, <sighs> Okay. The hard part's over. Now the fun part can begin. Yep, there goes the M6. See, I knew he wasn't going to last. But we've taken out their Super Pershing. So, I'm going to consider that a fair trade. <laughs> and they look like they're cl climbing here pretty violently, so I'm moving back into some cover. Because the 88mm gun on this machine is fantastic if you can just sit around firing shot after shot after shot after shot after shot. After shot. Which you can't do if you're being spotted all the time. So it's best to remain hidden. Uh, my brother's giving them what for. And I just steal the kill because I'm a boss that way. Uh, <laughs> he likes to give me shit for kill stealing when he does it just as much. Okay, maybe not as much, but... Kill's a kill. He's dead. That's what counts. So, they're starting to push up on the cap circle. So I'm trying to get into position to rain the pain. Get a good hit into that IS-3. If this 3001D would take a hike, I could get to a better position. But he doesn't seem interested in doing that. Oh. Oh, are you going to move? Well, sort of. Well, this is better than it was before, so I'll take it. I uh, don't really have a shot on him. Uh, no shot on him either. Oh, is he moving? Can I get... No, no, not really. Oh. Ah, oh, a little slow. A little... Oh, he's going to give me another chance. Uh, thank you. I will enjoy pulling the trigger on you. What else do we got? Oh, there's an IS-3 sitting out in the open. I get a 4.56 second rate of fire. Okay, just took two really painful hits there. One right through the... I don't know what part that's called. Just behind the collar. The mounting? I'm going to call it the mounting. I don't know if that's right. And one into the side of the superstructure. So, okay. Let's not do that again. Pulled back a little bit further. 
oddly enough, my brother and I are both still alive. Usually one of us dies in the first couple seconds of a game, when we're platoon, platoon together. I don't know why, it just works out that way. Uh, trying to rain the pain down on this IS-3, sitting in the cap. I'm doing alright with it. Don't know if he's moved. Gonna raise my gun, try again. Still nothing. Let's move up, see if I can do the spotting myself. Throw out a blind shot. Oh, he's been spotted. Uh, no... No shot. Oh, he's moving. He's moving. Is he gonna move in front of my gun? No. No, he's not. There's a very little bit of his tank showing. But it was enough. This gun. Uh, its accuracy is 0 .31 with 100% crew. I have 100% crew with Brothers in Arms and Vents installed in this machine, so I get much better than 0 .31 accuracy with this gun. Uh, in fact, the only way right now that I can prove the accuracy even more would be to run premium consumables um, chocolate. So, yeah, not going to go quite that far. My brother and I are now the only ones left on our team. Alive. Mm, this isn't good. I've got three kills, he has two. So, we're get, we're close. We're thinking brothers in arms at this point. I don't know why we're thinking brothers in arms at this point. We're like, we can do it, yeah. Uh, no, we can't. They, <laughs> they have two tier 8s and three tier 7s. And none of them are bad machines. We're both in premium tanks, which are inherently worse than a equivalent tier. Oh, but so are they. So, I um, it's not that far off, I guess. It, it, I suppose it would have been possible if we were better players. Or if they had worse players. It just didn't work out quite that well. Uh, now they're, they're capping again. Yes, this is a good time to be capping. They have, out, uh, they have us outnumbered. And they know where we are. Uh, I'm trying to reset the cap while my brother fends off the IS-6. But I can't get a shot at this T-29. I don't think he's even in the cap circle. There's the IS. The IS most definitely is not. But he's something I can shoot at, and I'm getting kind of desperate. And this gun, you can shoot at everything you find. Well, maybe the base capture isn't as broken as I thought it was. It seems to be going at a pretty good space. So, I just critted him from the front of his turret, so either knocked out his gunner or his gun. Either case, it's good for me. Uh, possibly could have taken out his commander. My brother has killed the IS-6. We are at three kills each. That's six kills to the platoon. Uh, another shot into the IS. Since he's the only one being spotted, we're both shooting at him. Not worth it. Um, full health T-34. Just took out my brother. Take a penetrating hit from the IS there. Just squeaked into my lower... I don't know. I think that hit my upper plate. Did he fire gold at me? Can a regular shot get through there? I have no idea. Full health T-34. I fully expect it to be dead right now. But nope. Track you, angle my arm, turn back just long enough to put another shot into him. Oh, you want a face hug? I'm okay with that. Free shots at your commander's hatch. What's that? You have a terrible reload? Okay. I would like to point out that the two of us engaged in this duel when he was at full health and I was at 147 hit points. And I won. Well, I won the duel. They just captured the base. Four kills to me, three kills to my brother. We took out almost half the team on our own uh, with a fantastic solo battle against the T-34 there where I was just freaking out 
and my brother was freaking out, and we're going, oh, God, I'm going to die. And then he died, and I didn't. It was fantastic. Uh, so did, was not upset that this was a loss at all. This was a well-played game, and the enemy team was just better. You can, it's hard to feel bad about that. Could things have gone differently? Yes. Uh, could things be different in any situation? Yes. Could things be better in every situation? No. Could this have been better? Probably. Oh, I got pretty damn lucky with that T-34 derping all those shots on me. Until next time, have a good one.